The Roaring Twenties are alive at the Brainerd Airport this week as part of the American Barnstormers Tour. Our Anthony Scott got a first-hand look of what life was like in the Twenties. Old cars, <laughs> barbershop quartets, and best of all, 1920s biplanes were all present at the American Barnstormers Tour in Brainerd. We want people to walk through the ramp and go, I'm back in the 20s, you know, and our barbershop quartet helps us do that. And uh, uh, the food that we're selling, you know, for nickel popcorn, why? Because you could buy it for a nickel in 1929. The American Barnstormers Tour brings their 12 biplanes to five different states for people to enjoy and admire the history. I think I think as, as time goes by, people kind of gravitate more towards the old things like uh, going to old car show, tractor show. Uh, certainly something like this, see what old airplanes were like 80 years ago. And community members could even take a ride in one of the vintage aircrafts. And so for my third time ever riding in an airplane, it was a trip that I would never forget as I was able to take a ride in one of these vintage 1920s airplanes. The view from above was breathtaking, flying over some of Minnesota's majestic lakes. It was quite a view, even for people that fly every day. My first time flying in Minnesota, and you know what? You guys have a lot of lakes here. It's flying in from South Dakota, there's lakes everywhere. It's a beautiful flight in today. I mean, it was one of those memorable things. All of the biplanes at the tour were Travel Air biplanes, the most popular company back in the 20s. The Barnstormers tour took an eight-year break until finally returning to Brainerd. Well, we had such a great time last time, and we had just a wonderful turnout. Uh, the community really embraced it, and uh, we thought, well, you know, this is the first time in six years that they've toured, and we want to do it again. The Barnstormers fly their own biplanes from city to city on their tour, a reminder that these vehicles belong in the air instead of a museum. We want for people not to forget our roots. We love these airplanes, and, and having these airplanes in a hangar is not a good thing. They, they need to be out, or a museum, they, they need to be out flying, and they need to be in a, in a position where people can have access to them. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The Barnstormers Tour will be in Brainerd for one last day tomorrow from 9 in the morning until 6 in the evening. And they'll make their final stop on the tour in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.